Today, GameStop earnings make some Reddit traders rethink their investment. We find out where the Wall Street Bets crowd is headed next. Plus, Amazon has a new incentive for hourly workers, a free bachelor's degree. And finally, the most expensive home in America is being sold to pay down millions in debt. I'm Mackenzie Segalos, and this is CNBC After Hours. The Dow fell for the fourth day in a row as investors keep a close eye on the Delta variant. The S&P and Nasdaq fell as well. One bright spot, though, were meme stocks like AMC's 2% gain and Rocket Lab's 37% rally. And then there's GameStop. The company held an earnings call last night that frankly disappointed many investors. It lasted just seven minutes and it failed to answer questions about how its leaders would stage a turnaround. The lack of clarity led to an early sell-off this morning, but retail traders came to the stock's rescue and it ended the day higher. Still, many Reddit traders are looking for new places to put their money, and have been for the past few weeks. We asked markets reporter Maggie Fitzgerald to tell us where they're headed next and why. The overall landscape of retail investing, the two primary meme stocks, GameStop, and AMC have actually seen waning interest. There's about a billion dollars being purchased in meme stocks in January and February by retail investors. Recently, it's been more like 250 million a week. It's even more clear now that GameStop and AMC are falling out of favor because for the first time since February on Tuesday, retail investors were net sellers of AMC. That's really significant because that has not happened in six or seven months. I would say that the retail investors that fundamentally believe in GameStop as um, a turnaround project, they were disappointed by the lack of details on a turnaround plan. That's going to be something that's really important to someone who's betting on a company that's going to restructure. That being said, GameStop in today's trading has gone positive. So some of that sentiment that was more negative perhaps has been canceled out at this point. Retail investors are certainly not going away. They're actually flocking back to some of their historical favorites. They're really interested in Clover and Binko Ventures. Those are two names that are popping up a lot on Reddit and Wall Street Bets and seeing a lot of action in their stocks day to day. It's very hard to pinpoint where the interest in meme stocks will go. I think when the coronavirus and the Delta variant are really prevalent and people are home, they're not back in the office, they have more time on their hands, meme stocks garner a little bit more attention while a reopening in in the economy would perhaps see a little bit waning interest in some of these names. Okay, let's get to the numbers round. We'll start with 750,000. Amazon is the latest business to offer free college as a perk. The company will pay all tuition, fee, and textbook costs for its 750,000 hourly employees. The incentive kicks in after 90 days of employment and it will roll out in January of 2022. Next, four. It looks like the largest crypto exchange in the US could face a fight with the SEC. Coinbase disclosed that US regulators have threatened to sue over the exchange's upcoming Lend service. The feature would let customers lend their stable coins and earn up to 4% interest in return. That product's launch has been delayed until at least October, and Coinbase says that the SEC hasn't explained its issue with the product. And finally, $165 million. The most expensive home in America is about to hit the market. The developer expected the Bel Air mansion, named The One, to sell for a cool $500 million in 2017. Now, that number might make sense if you consider the 105,000 square foot property has a moat, a 50 seat movie theater, not to mention the fact that every door in the house is electric along with all the toilets. But delays and rising costs have led the developer to default on $165 million in debt. The county has now stepped in and wants to sell the home far below asking price and the hopes of recouping some of that money. If you're in the market for a $100 million home, you can read all about it by going to CNBC.com and downloading the CNBC app.
That's it for After Hours. We will be back here every Tuesday and Thursday, so be sure to catch us then. Thank you.